Hey everybody, welcome back Crow Carry Trucker, new subscribers, welcome. I've gotten a few over the past few days, thanks to Michael Hines. I know I'm not pronouncing that right, last name, but uh, he did a shout out. A bunch of you guys came over, checked my channel out, subscribed, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, today, I am currently eastbound I-70 in Illinois. Uh, just crossed from Cumberland into Clark County, mile marker 128. Uh, just left the terminal about a half an hour, a little over half an hour ago. Teotopolis, Illinois. Um, I will make it down to at least Hillsville, Virginia tonight. Uh, possibly make it all the way to Winston-Salem, North Carolina, where a drop yard is. That's an hour away from Hillsville. Uh, I know I can make Hillsville easy. Uh, I don't have to stop for fuel today, so... As long as I have an hour and 15 minutes left, when I get to Hillsville, I can go on in and shut down at the drop yard in Winston-Salem. I'm starting to get a few more videos out. Uh, I do need to get some more 2A videos out. Uh, I got some firearms that need to clean. Uh, may do some videos on those. Uh, got that Taurus G2C that got stolen that I got back. Uh, it was in the lake. Uh, I got it cleaned up. I'm going to try putting it back together. I may do a little video on that. About to finish up the Nova, Nova Yanko, for Jason's group build, Street Machine group build. Um, definitely do a video on that. Another one of our drivers going westbound. But I greatly appreciate the new subscribers. I was thinking. My birthday is April 5th. I know I'm not going to get it, but if I can reach a thousand subscribers by April 5th, I will pull together an epic giveaway. Um, been thinking about it, not sure. I may do it two-part giveaway, one for the modeling community, one for the 2A community. Um, I may do just one epic giveaway and you pick, do you want it to be uh, hobby related model or second amendment? Uh, hobby, I'm thinking maybe a couple kits, at least a kit, maybe a couple kits. Uh, <laughs> maybe some tools, uh, paints, uh, if some of these places that have aftermarket parts, 3D printing, if they got gift certificates, maybe get with them, I'll purchase a gift certificate, throw in there. Uh, if it's 2A related, I'm thinking maybe some ammo, holster, um, something along those lines. Uh, just see how it goes. Uh, pretty sure I'm not going to hit a thousand by April 5th, but if I would hit a thousand by April 5th, I think I'm going to try to throw away an epic, epic giveaway for my thousand subscribers. I'm about the 130, so I'm about 26 miles from the state line. We're crossing into Indiana. I've got seven hours and 12 minutes, and I got to take a 30-minute break. I got a total of 10 hours and 12 minutes I can drive today. I've got 12 hours and 18 minutes I can work. Now that 12 hour and 
now 12:17, but that 12 hour and 17 minutes, of course, I'm going to lose half an hour or whatever time I take to take my break off that. <coughs> Generally, on my 30 minute break, I usually end up taking about an hour nap. That doesn't cut into my drive time any. But I've got to wait until my drive time gets down below 8 before I take that 30 minute break, hour nap, whatever I make it. It's got to be at least 30 minutes. Um, if I take that break before my drive time is down to 8 hours, then what ends up happening is I have to take a 30 minute, another 30 minute break. We've got 11 hours driving available in one drive period, one day. But you can only drive eight of that and then you have to take a half an hour break before you get the rest of it back. So, I start my day with uh, 14 hours on my work day. That includes driving, uh, paperwork, pre-trip, post-trip, and all that good stuff. 11 of that could be driving and we run seven days a week so we run on a 70 hour week clock we can work 70 hours in eight days consecutively uh, for companies that only work five six days a week they work on a uh, 60 hour seven day clock Pretty much most companies work on the 70 hours in eight days. And first day back after vacation, uh, working four on, four off. My last four days I worked. I worked the four days, then I got four days off. Then I was scheduled four days, but I took those vacations. So I had those four off, then I had the next four off. So I was off 12 days. Actually, I was off 13 days. Um, first day back from having 13 days off, I did not want to get motivated this morning. Luckily, this load here really doesn't have any time restraints on it. I just have to have it down there by midnight tomorrow night. Everything goes really good. I don't hit too many backups construction accident backups or anything like that I should make it down to Winston-Salem today I'll have it down there by midnight tonight I'll drop this one at the drop yard pick up an empty uh, what I'll do is I'll drop this one at the drop yard take my 10 hour break then I'll get up grab an empty and head back If I stop in Hillsville, Virginia tonight, instead of making it all the way down, if I stop in Hillsville, Virginia, uh, I'll stop in Hillsville, I'll go to the Comfort Inn, take my break at the motel, uh, get up, drive on into Winston-Salem, it's about an hour from Hillsville to Winston-Salem, uh, drop the empty, or drop the load and pick up the empty head back, I will make it back to either Indianapolis or Terre Haute, Indiana. I have to take another break and then from there if I stop in Indianapolis it's two and a half hours back to the yard when I get up from that break if I make it to Terre Haute it's about an hour back Terre Haute a lot of it depends on parking Terre Haute does not have a whole lot of truck parking. They got the pilot truck stop there. They got down south on 41. They got a Lowe's truck stop. As late as it's going to be, those things are going to be filled up. 
FedEx in front of me running 66, I'm running 68, 69. So I can't get too close to him or my camera's going to go off. Second falling distance right now. One one thousand, two one thousand. Yeah, just over two second falling distance right now. Uh, anything two or less, we start camera will start making a clip. Uh, for my new subscribers, even my older subscribers, last time I did an in cap video was in the Mac Anthem. I'm no longer in a Mac Anthem. I'm in a Peterbilt 579 now. Try to get my camera set up on either chest mount or head mount, and I'll do an in cap video of the uh, Peterbilt going down the road. Gonna be a long day. We'll get her knocked out. See what we find down there. Usually. Right around Charleston, West Virginia right now, it's got a lot of construction going on. So that, if I get any major backups, that's probably where that's gonna be. Uh, we'll just have to see what happens. Appreciate you watching. Anything pops up today, I'll probably catch a bit, try to catch a video of it. We'll catch you on the next one.